The deterioration of the Dead Sea has been observed and known for decades. The Dead Sea is currently 430 meters below sea level. Since Israel's founding in 1948, the sea level has fallen by 40 meters. I have been going to the Dead Sea for 30 years. When I first came, there were no sinkholes. 20 years ago, they started to pop up. There was a hundred. Today, there is more than 6,000. I stay in a region in the Dead Sea called En Gedi. If you mix up the letters En Gedi in Hebrew, it spells Gan Eden, which means Garden of Eden. I usually go to the desert with a friend of mine and take a dip in the Dead Sea. On one given day, he could not make it. I walk adjacent to the desert and the Dead Sea because it's safer there to avoid the sinkholes. I came across a staff. It was the most beautiful staff I had ever seen. I had never seen a stick like this in my entire life. I picked it up. I walked around with it. I thought about the life of Moses. I thought about how he would have felt walking around the desert. I was just pondering on his life. I spend a lot of time in the desert all by myself, praying and pondering. Well, that's what I was doing while walking with the staff. And I said, I'm going to go back to the Ingeti Kibbutz. There are scorpions in the desert, so I didn't want to be there too late at night. While walking back, I took a step and I hit quicksand. My whole left leg was stuck in quicksand. I was in shock, but thank God I had that staff. I used the staff to leverage myself out of the quicksand. When I got my foot out, I left the staff there. If I got caught in quicksand, so can the next guy. The Dead Sea is an amazing place. There are warning signs all over the desert that say, do not enter. I did not pay attention to the warning signs. I thought that I could go because I know the Dead Sea so well. So the lesson that I learned, and the lesson for all of us, is when you see a warning sign, pay attention. Ten years later, I was in New York City, and it was Passover, and I decided to pray. Pray for everybody in all the universes. While praying, I saw a man walk behind me. I looked at him. He told me that he was looking for his friend. I told him I was praying. And I told him the story about how the staff saved my life while being caught in quicksand. He told me that he was a musician and he was homeless. And he lived in this little park. He asked me if I would wait there because he wanted to play me a song. He told me the lyrics to the song were, Holy Moses and his staff. I couldn't believe it. I asked him if I could buy him dinner. He refused. He went and he got his guitar and he played for me. And the story of the song was from Pharaoh's perspective. And one of the lines in the song, to paraphrase it, was, Holy Moses, God split the Red Sea for you, but people still suffer. So true, so true. God creates miracles, but that doesn't mean that mankind won't suffer anymore. Everybody has some level of suffering. Knowing the story that happened to me and him writing a song about Holy Moses and his staff has given him hope. And that is what Passover is all about, hope.